Lawmakers return to Capitol Hill Monday after a two-week-long break, and they have a number of issues to tackle. That includes aid to Ukraine, which has become a tricky point to navigate among Republicans. In a letter to senators last week, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the key to making progress on top priorities is, quote, bipartisanship and compromise. For more, CBS News Congressional Correspondent Nicole Killian joins me now. Nicole, billions of dollars for funding uh, for Ukraine is stalled. Everybody who wants that to pass says it is desperate. The Ukrainians are desperate for the money. The Senate passed its own version in February. What's going on in the House? Yeah, well, despite those urgent pleas, it really so far has not moved the needle. And, you know, we do know that Speaker Johnson made clear uh, before Congress adjourned on its Easter recess that he would bring up some type of supplemental aid package once lawmakers get back. But there's still a big question mark about what that's going to look like if the House will move forward with that nearly $100 billion supplemental package that the Senate passed or if he will split the package apart or uh, simply put Ukraine aid on the floor. We have seen him in the past do standalone funding packages for Israel. So it is a big if in terms of what the speaker's next steps are. I'm told we should learn more uh, sometime early this week. But some ideas that the speaker has floated and other congressional Republicans as well is uh, perhaps conditioning the aid, making it more in the form of a loan that Ukraine would ultimately have to pay back. That's one idea. Uh, that's been floating for the better part of a week now. So uh, whether or not some type of Ukraine aid package has that type of dynamic to it again remains to be seen. Uh, but the speaker has made clear over the recess that he might make some tweaks to the package. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has used the procedural technicality, well, not a technicality, the procedural tool to uh, remove a speaker, a motion to vacate the House speakership. That was used to bounce Kevin McCarthy. How different are things or how uh, threatened is uh, the current speaker from this motion to vacate? Well, it's interesting, John, because uh, Congresswoman Green is actually holding a town hall this evening in Georgia where this issue has uh, come up. Uh, you know, uh, the Congresswoman continues and not to necessarily put a timetable on this, although we know over the course of the recess she has kind of renewed her threats, uh, potentially ousting the speaker, saying that it is time for a new speaker in the House. And some of her opposition has to do in part uh, to the potential possibility that the speaker may put Ukraine aid on the floor, which is something that Congresswoman Green opposes. That being said, uh, the speaker has made clear that while he has his differences with Marjorie Taylor Green, he does see her as a friend. He defended the appropriations package that uh, the House put on the floor just before the recess, of course, to continue funding uh, the government. So he is standing by his actions, which is uh, part of why Green also says that she believes the speaker should go. And uh, finally, Nicole, what else is on the top of the list or, or on the list in general for lawmakers now that they're back? Well, you know, the, as I mentioned, you know, it's a big question mark in terms of what the next steps will be with respect to the supplemental aid package. So we're watching closely on that front. Perhaps the biggest thing uh, to watch this week is also we expect the House to move forward in presenting their impeachment articles against Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas uh, to the Senate. Uh, Leader Schumer has made clear that the Senate is prepared to receive those articles this coming Wednesday, that senators will be sworn in for a potential trial this coming Thursday. But again, Another big if, whether or not uh, Senate Democrats will try to table this and dismiss this trial altogether. There's a lot of chatter that could potentially happen, but the leader does have a number of tools at his disposal to either move forward, to slow walk this, or again, to dismiss it altogether uh, remains to be seen. Nicole Killian on Capitol Hill. Thank you so much, Nicole.